And what I realized is that I had completely lost myself, mm -hmm. completely. I had been isolated, I lost my friends, really lost who I was. In fact, I was, um, I was in, I was on my first girlfriend's trip I was allowed to go on. And um, my sister and I were in this store and we were looking at different pots. I was trying to choose which vase I wanted. I had two. We were in the Netherlands and I was asking her which one I should get. And she, in anger, she turned and looked at me in frustration and goes, ask yourself. And I was like, well, should we go eat? Like, what is <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking and I guess we're deciding what to eat. And I didn't have an opinion about what we were going to eat either. And we sat down and I said, tell me more about that. She goes, Kate, you don't even know what you want to eat. She said, you, you, don't, you don't even have an opinion about where we are. We're in the Netherlands. We're all anywhere. And I said, where do you want to go? And you're like, oh, I don't care. And so I took that back with me and I started asking myself and getting to know myself. And one thing that I learned is I didn't love myself. And I think that part of loving ourselves is that we have to trust ourselves first. And things like this allow us to do that because we're mirrors and reflections for each other.